Okay, now let's take a look at white balance. So we'll open up the exterior HDR scene again and we can run an interactive render. So white balance is under exposure again in the camera controls and if we go to temperature and we pull that down we can see that the image is getting bluer and this is orange and what's happening is the orange is getting minus from the scene. Now this can come in handy if we're using an exterior HDR and the sky is really blue it's going to give a, a really blue tint to our image. So what you can do is use the white balance to control how warm or cool the image is. I would advise always using temperatures um, rather than colours as this will keep everything looking more realistic but you can really see now the image is quite orange and we've minus a lot of the blue so this looks more like sunset and then if we pull this down to more of an orange colour you'll see the image is getting a lot more blue and again, another cool feature in V-Ray Next is the auto white balance, which can be found just below auto exposure. So we can turn that on and you can see V-Ray is doing the hard work for us. This video is actually part of a larger course. So if you think you'd find that useful, then check out the link in the description and feel free to like and subscribe.